OK, so we have three right angled triangles here and three sides to find. So with this first triangle, what we have is an angle and we want to find its opposite side and we have been given the adjacent. So we can say that tan of 25 must be equal to the opposite side A over the adjacent side 16. So you can multiply up to get 16 tan of 25 degrees to be the side of A. So we can get that to be 16 times tan of 25, which is 7.46 centimetres to three significant figures. OK, so that's the first one. Now, as for number two, we have uh, an angle. We've been given its opposite side, and we want to find the hypotenuse. So that means that sine of 52 degrees will be equal to the opposite, 87, over the hypotenuse, which is B. So if we re rearrange this, multiply it by B, divide through by sine of 52, we get that B must be 87 divided by sine of 52. So 87 divided by sine of 52 degrees is 110 uh, metres to three significant figures. So 110.4045847. OK, so that's number two. So that finally, number three, we've got an angle with the hypotenuse is given to us and we want to find its adjacent side. So cosine of eight degrees must be equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So multiplying up, we can get that C must be 403 cos of eight. So 403 times cos of 8 is 399 centimetres to three significant figures. OK, so all of these problems have used basic trigonometry using Sokotoa, trying to determine what side you've been given, what side you need, and then choosing the appropriate trigonometric ratio.